dear students today we are going to talk about how to study effectively or uh, an ideal time management plan although every student every individual is different and he or she will have a different time management plan or a different study plan however here i have tried to make a sample time management plan okay a sample study plan how it will help you it will if you uh, put this one in front of you and uh, you see all these things here you can make your own individual study plan by changing a few things here so in this way i think it will be useful to you so first of all i want to welcome and congratulate you because you have traveled miles what do i mean by this is first of all you have completed your secondary uh, school exam then you have completed your college your higher secondary level exam and then you have chosen medical education as your prime education as your career education so i congratulate you for that and then after entering into the medical college you have completed the first prof and then the second prof and now you are in your fourth year of medical education so you have traveled already a few miles but you have to travel a lot more than this so you have to prepare yourself uh, effectively so that you can achieve your career goal uh, easily or i would say you can achieve your career goal within time okay so i would say that you should believe in yourself that just look back and see that you have achieved a lot of things until now so you should have the belief in yourself that you can achieve a lot more things in the future as well and then remain disciplined throughout your career this is an important thing you have to have self discipline what do i mean by this suppose uh after a very hot and sunny day there comes a night with rain and you feel uh like sleepy you feel like writing some poetry uh and you don't feel like studying anything so that means you uh, you are not disciplined enough if you study at that night as well then you are disciplined when you are not feeling like uh, but you are doing that thing that means you are disciplined so you have to be disciplined throughout your career and do your job honestly if you are honest to yourself to your family to your society then nothing is going to stop you now before planning your schedule you have to have something in your mind so what are the things you should look for or what are the things you should uh, look out for preparing your uh, time management plan first of all you have to have a clear picture of your goal suppose you have a goal of becoming a cardiologist and practicing in the united states so that is your career goal and you have to have that picture clearly in your mind that yes i want to achieve that and i have to achieve that i can achieve that so just have that clear picture of your goal in your mind and then have a definite career planning outline so you have to have a definite career planning outline that means uh you have to have a road map by which you are going to achieve your career planning goal how you are career planning goal is your career planning outline okay then make your daily plans according to your goal because now you have a goal then you have set your road map now you have to discipline yourself to achieving that goal you have to do everything needed right from now to achieve your goal suppose you, your uh, prime goal uh, is to become a cardiologist 
uh, in the United States. So, what should you do to achieve that goal? Divide that uh, plan into different steps. So, what can you do now, right from now, to achieve that bigger goal? Just to achieve a smaller goal, because your bigger goal is the summation of those smaller goals. Okay, and the last thing is prepare your mind to do some uncomfortable work because if you want to achieve a big goal and high, high achievement, then you should you should have to do or you have to do some uncomfortable work, some hard works. Okay, that you have to push yourself from your comfort zone. Now let's go to the details of your time management plan or your daily plan what should you do or what should you do ideally so suppose in the morning uh, you have to wake up early in the morning and this is a very very important tip because people who are successful they usually wake up early in the morning most most of the people now if you wake up early in the morning you will have so much time to prepare yourself to concentrate on your goals uh, and your mind will be very clear your brain will be very clear at that time so wake up early in the morning maybe uh, you may choose waking up at 5 a.m. or maybe at 6 in the morning whatever it is make it a habit if you like to wake up at 5 a.m. just wake up at 5 a.m. every day set an alarm uh, on your clock and then get up when your alarm rings or bells and so make it a habit then you can like to have some workout because a physical exercise is very important to remain healthy so you can have your workout you know for around 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes whatever you like and you may have your morning rituals you may have to have your prayers uh, in the morning and then take a shower after workout take a shower maybe with cold water or maybe uh, slightly warm water and then have your breakfast still you will have 40 to 50 minutes left uh, before your class begins so just revise your uh, studies your books uh, whatever you have uh, on that day so study revision for 40 minutes will be a good idea at that time then moving forward to the daytime probably you will have classes from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. from morning uh, till early in the afternoon so 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and in this time schedule if you will have lectures you will have tutorial classes and also you will have your word visits you will have your clinical uh, rounds right so what sh I uh, would like to advise you that you study your clinical subjects study your clinical subjects during word visits okay because you have to study your main subjects that means pathology pharmacology microbiology uh, these are your main subjects and your word subjects you will have this uh, subjects later on uh, in your final year so your word visits should con in uh, include your studies as well that means you should study your clinical subjects within that time within that time of word visit okay you should not uh, keep your studies for studying in the evening or at night or when you su are supposed to study pharmacology or pathology or microbiology okay now uh, I want to give you an example suppose you are studying finger clapping uh, in your word visits so your teacher has demonstrated what is uh, a finger clapping then you would practice yourself you'll see you, you will examine finger clapping and then just read from your book what is finger clapping and what are the causes of finger clapping etc so you will not keep your studies uh, for uh, studying at a later time okay 